Hey guys. Okay, I have a really, really good Nutritarian Nugget for you today. It's from The Pleasure Trap, which was one of my favorite books. It's by um, Dr. Doug Lyle and Alan Goldhammer of the True North facility in California, which is a holistic health uh, facility where you can do water fasting and weight loss and um, any other kind of like health-related lifestyle medicine stuff. Super great place. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of a section from this book. It's this book. And, and the way that Doug Lyle lectures, there's a lot of lectures that he has on YouTube and stuff. Um, his little lecture on the pleasure trap will blow your mind, I'm telling you. And reading this kind of stuff, mastering the hidden force that undermines health and happiness. So not just food related, but just in general, health and happiness. Um, I've read from this book before. If you're interested in getting this book, it, it will blow your mind, I promise. Um, there's a link for it down below. It's really, really great. <coughs> I'll also put a link for one of my favorite videos from Dr. Lyle as well. So this is um, on page 66. It's called Skinny's Crisis. And it's basically, um, let's say that there's a chimp named Skinny, okay, a chimpanzee named Skinny. And instead of eating 100% of the calories he needs each day, suppose that he eats only 99%. Let's examine what, what we could expect to happen to this unfortunate chimp over the course of time. So this is very interesting. So Skinny needs 2,000 calories per day on average. However, he'll typically eat only 99% of that total, or 1,980 calories. This means that every time he needs 100 bites of banana, he might only eat 99. Each day on average, he'd be about 20 calories short. While seemingly unimportant on a day-to-day -day basis, such a deficit would soon have ominous effects. Over the course of a normal lifetime, if he could survive, Skinny would cons consume 1% less food than he required, or about 1,000 pounds of food less than needed. This amounts to approximately 400,000 too few calories, a calorie deficit um, that would have to be compensated by the burning of his own tissues for fuel. This caloric def deficiency translates to more than 100 pounds of body tissue, a caloric deficit that no 150 pound chimp could possibly survive. The truth is that there are no chimpanzees like Skinny that consistently underestimate their caloric needs by even 1%. It's simply not biologically possible. Although there are animals that are more slender than others, this is not because their mechanisms of satiation are underestimating their caloric needs. They are simply normal individuals of slender design. More interesting is the fact that there are no obese chimpanzees, individuals that have consistently overestimated their caloric need by even 1% found in the wild. For if they had, by the end of their lives, they would be some 100 pounds overweight, the inescapable consequence of overeating by 1% over the course of their existence. A clear look at nature yields the evidence and support of a simple truth. The design of animal life dictates that caloric intake and activity level be superbly balanced. The machinery that makes this possible is extremely sophisticated. Balancing caloric intake versus outgo in an animal's body is an arithmetic problem of surprising complexity. Every banana is a little bit different from any other, with higher or lower caloric higher or lower caloric concentrations from one banana to the next. This is even more striking when different foodstuffs are compared. A handful of nuts may be 20 or 30 times as calorically concentrated as a handful of raw salad greens, making per precise caloric computations very difficult. Yet despite these challenges, these computations are clearly being made. The fact that trillions of animals are effortlessly solving this problem and have been for hundreds of millions of years indicates a timeless feature of animal nature. <laughs> right amazing if you think about it that way and this book is full of this crap it's amazing like the just the way you think of stuff and, and the way it makes you just the way it kind of makes you think of stuff and reconsider life oh okay yeah i guess i guess that is true right um so pick this one up there's a link for it down below i hope you enjoyed this nutrient nugget what do you think about this um when you put it in terms like this, uh, you know, animals have been doing this for millions of years. We are animals, so therefore we must be able to do this as well. I gotta say, uh, listening a little bit more closely to my hunger signals in the last few weeks because I've been getting a lot of nutrients and I haven't been as, um, as cravy or as feeling crazy at all. Um, listening to this, uh, these signals in my body, I'm, 
I'm like, wait a minute, like I'm kind of doing this naturally too. Like if I get hungry, I eat something and then I get hungry again when I need to eat more and that's kind of it, you know, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so you can retrain yourself to think the way that uh, we're supposed to as just basic animals, you know, getting through and surviving. We can get back there, but we have to get over the addiction first. We have to get over um, the societal influences and all that kind of stuff around us that that sabotages that you know you don't see chimpanzees walking around the jungle having to avoid in and out burger right like we have a lot more complex things to deal with but we can get there so let's do it together right let me know what you think about this down below um, if you're interested in the book there's a link in the description and thanks so much for watching um, if you're interested in learning how to eat healthy for breakfast I have a nine day oatmeal breakfast boot camp that is very very helpful it's got some really great recipes in it there's a link for that down below some recipes you've never had before and I'm sure you'll love um, so please check that out if you can to support me other ways you can support me are by liking commenting and subscribing to my youtube channel on any of these videos I would really really appreciate that thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow bye in an animal's body is an arith arithmetic problem of surprising complexity